Alright guys, I'm just out the front of the council building this morning with Councillor Rob Pine. Um, as you may know, I'll, I'll put a link in this uh, video here. I made a submission to uh, the committee inquiry into decriminalising um, public offences such as begging, public intoxication, um, and also, I think what's the other one? Public urination. And we've just heard in the Cairns Council Chambers today, um, Rob Pine spoke a little bit about uh, discrimination against some of the Indigenous uh, people suffering mental health issues uh, and things in our local community that we're trying to help and uh, the council unfortunately voted against um, that decriminalisation there and made a submission and Rob was the, the only gentleman there that put his hand up and, and opposed it and I don't want to be critical of, of the council I mean I, I get what they're saying we do need more resources we need more people on the ground more volunteers more programs that are out there helping people in the community but just the you can read my full submission um, here in this I'll, I'll put it in the chat here but it's um it's really just it's these people are going to do that anyway if you're homeless on the street you don't have access to toilets where are you going to go um, it's the same as begging um, if you're you know doing it a bit tough what are you going to do you're just being issued fines and it's taking up police resources and um, yeah, look anyway, you can read my submission, but I just thought you might want to hear from Rob Pine, champion of the underdog himself. Well, this really is an issue of fighting for the underdog. Homeless, uh, people with mental health issues, acquired brain injury. Um, we're seeing them being unwell as a crime deserving punishment. If we want to even fix this problem, guess what? We need to provide them with support services uh, and help them and help them transition to a state where they can manage their own lives, which they can't at the moment, using alcohol and other substances just to dull the pain that they're experiencing. And, you know, other services do exist that can help with this homelessness problem. Mission Australia, public housing services, there's, there's so many positive things we could be doing. Um, working with the traditional owners that I believe now own the building at the end of Lion Street to actually do something positive. Uh, instead, we say the people are a problem, they need to be punished, they need to be penalised. Well, that's not the answer. It never was, and it's not now. In my submission, I talk about last year being in the court where um, there was an individual that come in, they'd been charged with begging. It was the fourth time in the court. Um, that's a really good example there that I'd like you to read because it's an example of disadvantage summing someone further. It costs the resources, those resources that we put into um, currently, you know, um, pursuing people for these types of offences, it just could be better spent um, elsewhere. So, um, you know, me and Rob, we believe in a safer, greater Cairns, and, you know, we think that more can be done, and it's just um, a little bit sad with the outcome today, but um, we'll um, watch this space and see what uh, the Queensland Government, the committee, um, actually does. Thank you, Shane. Thanks, Rob.